Hello people, and welcome back to part 33 of Begusia, the city's Skylines build guide. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic and amazing day, wherever you are in the world. And today is New Year's Eve, and I thought this would be the perfect time to work on our nightlife section of the downtown, uh, and how we can go about making a, different, a couple of different themes uh, to kind of bring the area to life a little bit more. So, when you paint out a specialist zone, or a district... We need to add a specialization, and for to make nightlife, that specialization needs to be leisure, which is indicated by this little kind of drama theater face, and you can see it here as well. So, any commercial that is placed within this district will be leisure. We have used this before in the city, uh, over by the beach of Begusia, uh, we have the same specialization here. You can see we get clubs and kind of bars and gyms and bowling alleys, all kinds of fun and recreational activities uh, for people to do. And you know the beach looks really cute. It's um, you know it's nice and bright and sunny and there's water sports nearby and it's all very nice. However, in the downtown, nightlife areas aren't particularly like that. They're a little bit seedy and a little bit grim. And uh, that's what I wanted to go for uh, in a little bit of this area. The whole thing isn't going to be grim. Kind of the front facing of it will be quite nice as you drive into the city. Uh, but kind of as you head deeper and deeper into it, you're going to kind of come across these kind of seedy alleyways where you might be able to find um, a lady of the night, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so let's go ahead and start zoning up. So like the other specialization of uh, organic and local produce, and um, these specialization zones are not affected by low and high density commercials. Uh, whatever you place, you will get the same type and height of buildings. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, so let's go ahead and plop in a zone right along here and see what we get coming in. And we'll have all these ones along here as well. Uh, so kind of this main street here um, seems to be kind of the main road through. And I think we need to make it look a little bit fancier. So I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade the roads. We'll have this main road as a f six lane with trees. Straight through the middle. And then with this lane through here. I'm going to have the large avenue with grass. So that's just going to bring a little bit more importance to our street fronts. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how that begins to develop. Okay, so we're getting some strange zoning coming in here. May have to end up detailing the zoning in terms of placing it slowly. But we'll see what kind of buildings we get. See, we've had an empty spot generating here. Which I'm not particularly happy with. Mm, yeah. No. We won't, we'll wait for them to rebuild. Just keep knocking them down until we get what we want. Uh, so this isn't too bad, I suppose. We can do something with this area here. Detail it up a little bit. Maybe make like a little beer garden. That'd be cool. Uh, anyway, okay. Let's start zoning up some other things. So with this main street, I want kind of, you know, a nice... Um, a nice bit of... Probably a path, I think. I've, I've been using a lot of the uh, amusement park paths recently. And these things actually work really good. Uh, for kind of... Just changing up the colour a little bit. So we're going to bring these right through the middle. And then we'll probably use some on this side as well. But we'll wait until we hit um, that side of the town before we do it over there. So I think I do want a fair few kind of palm trees and um, kind of exotic looking flowers and plants around here. Let's have a look at our unique buildings and see if we've got anything that we can place in here. Um... Hey okay, guys, sorry about that real quick cut. I just have to say hello to my girlfriend. So, we were looking at a couple of unique buildings uh, that we can be placing here. And I think I've kind of settled on the observation tower. And um, would seem like a pretty nice placement in here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe on the corner here or maybe... Maybe on this block. So this thing is massive. You can't actually see the top of it from the floor. But um, it certainly gives kind of a central theme. And again, it comes with all these kind of uh, palm looking trees. And that's kind of adding to the theme uh, that we've been going for anyway. Uh, so I think we'll have that right on the corner there. 
And uh, it's also going to uh, make this area a little bit taller as well. Because um, obviously we're using kind of much smaller buildings in this area. But that's uh, that's totally fine. Um, so let's have a look at some paths. And uh, we can see what else we can make this area look like. Let's bring in some of these more amusement style stuff. And um, let's get this. I think we'll keep it snug. Uh, with the building. Okay, and how about a little a little plaza here? Can we get one of them in? We can just about. That's a little bit. I don't know if I want zoning along here actually. Yeah, let's get some more in here and watch that develop. And also along the back of the highway as well. Okay, so again, we're just slowly zoning in, making sure that things look as nice as possible. Let's get something along here as well. Uh, let's have a look at public transport for this area. I'm pretty sure this doesn't intersect uh, with a metro line at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't. And it isn't really going to be in the way of one either. Because Metro will be heading off in that direction. I suppose we could. Yeah, we could, can't we? I think it would be wrong not to have uh, Metro in this part of the city. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in a Metro line over here. Uh, let's bring this right back. And then we're going to go ahead and... Um, curve it around just a little bit further. Let's place in the uh, metro station, and I think right on the street will look really nice as long as it's facing. Uh, see which way does this need to be facing to hook up properly? Probably that way actually is the the best way to hook this guy in. Yeah, I think it has to be along these this street here, doesn't it? Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, let's place them in. We'll hook him up there, and then he can uh, link back up to the tunnel there. And then, as we refresh the game, uh, the path should link through. And give it a second; the game will think about it. There we go, and then we just simply click a line there, and that's going to add a stop into here. So let's make a little bit of a fuss out of this uh, this metro station, and see if we can bring a little more jazz to it. Let's have one here, and one up there, and can we get one in down here as well? We certainly can. Okay, let's go ahead and throw in uh, a little bit of greenery, maybe uh, a couple of rocks, maybe a little pile in a couple of the corners here. And then possibly uh, the bushes are kind of a little bit big for this area. We can certainly throw some kind of shrubbery uh, around the bottom of the rocks. Uh, and then maybe just one uh, singular large tree that can sit on the corner. There we go. That just makes a little bit of a nice interesting feature out of that path rather than just uh, leaving it to kind of just be an empty green space. Uh, okay, I think we're going to have more zoning here along that then because of that. And uh, probably a bit here as well. Down here. And I don't want little one size blocks like this. Oh, hello. May I shoot up in the air? Uh, what is this place? A game cave. Sounds like my life. Okay. So it's all very dense, it's all very packed in, which is what we want. So they go in three speed and see how people are moving around this area. 
I definitely want this bit to be hooked up, so let's um let's draw in a path that's gonna ride up from here. Might as well hook people through to that side. And then I wonder if we should also bring one. I think we'll just leave that zone in actually. So there's already a lot of people starting to move in and around here, which is nice to see. Okay. If you're wondering why the camera's going all janky, it's because we're actually jumping to the top of this building. Uh, this thing does look really cool. Uh, obviously it's an observation tower, so you'll be able to see kind of the entire, see if we can just kind of get on top of it. You can kind of see the whole downtown from this height. So it is a really cool building. I'm not sure what expansion it comes with. I'm assuming After Dark. It seems like an After Dark type building. Uh, okay. Let's have a look if there's anything else we can place in here. I don't think we will be able to. I do have a helicopter park now as well. I'm guessing this is because we placed the helicopter medical depot. I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at services. They have a fire station right nearby. And I think it would make sense for a police station to be here as well. You know, with police having to kind of keep an eye on the ruffians that are getting hammered in the downtown. Alright, so look at this side here. This hasn't had much love yet. We've got a little bit of empty space here, haven't we? See, there's a little bit of an awkward zone in here. I'm not sure I really want anything there. We'll probably do some back, uh, kind of back alley details, I imagine. How are we looking from the highway? Yeah. Starting to get that nice um, downtown feel in here. Now there's a really kind of cool view uh, straight through to the transport hub here. Seeing lots of different people kind of moving around. Lots of people coming. Look how many people are coming out of the uh, the metro station here. 719. Let's see if this one has had much use. 55. It's okay. It's not bad. It will um it will get better as this area gets busier. But already, just see how much different a specialization can make your areas feel. I feel like we've got a really nice kind of dynamic starting to develop along here now. But I think that's probably a good point to go ahead and jump into um, a detail in time lapse and we can do some work uh, on making this underpass look a little bit grim. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into that.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. This back alley ended up turning out pretty sweet, I think, and we're getting some people walking through it, and the lights are coming on now as well in the night time. Uh, kind of put some trees and overgrowth under the bridge to make it look as though nature is trying to reclaim it where nobody walks, and uh, using a bunch of the industrial assets uh, to kind of make it a little bit dirty and a, bit, a little bit grim. Uh, piece, uh, console players will struggle to replicate that. This is using the more beautification mod, uh, but you know you can get creative with maybe some park assets and uh, do some detailing like that. But it's certainly uh, a bit of a different way to use uh, some of the in-game assets that are pretty sweet. Thank you very much for watching. Have a safe and happy new year. Thank you for all the growth this year. We've hit 323 subscribers, I think, at the moment. Uh, here's to another 323 in 2020. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll leave you alone. Thank you very much for watching. And as always... Enjoy the rest of your day.